How you doing? Good. Very good. Uh, my name is Kevin O'Brien. I'm the outreach coordinator for the Massachusetts Sierra Club, with the state chapter of the oldest and biggest environmental group in the country. Um, we have over three million members across the country, and about sixty to sixty-five thousand in this state. Um, so I'm speaking in support of uh, the We the People Act. And I mean, this is really just about even in the playing field. This is what you kind of heard already. Um, I'm not going to try to say there's not other problems preventing Congress from acting because they can, they can do this, but there's no doubt in my mind that the reason we're not moving more quickly on this stuff, a lot of issues, especially environmental issues, is that it's illegal to put any limit on political spending. Corporations somehow have human rights, and some of these corporations are themselves bigger economies than the governed countries around the world. So I, I do want to address one concern. I've heard about this bill. I've been told that we don't need it because Congress can do it. But the reason Congress won't do it is because the American people are divided and Congress is divided. And I'm not going to disagree on that. But I think no limits on political spending is one of the main reasons why they are divided. Um, and I point to something that is called agenda setting theory. It's a communications theory. And in the context of politics, it basically says that the media influences our views and the importance we place on political issues and on politicians by the placement of stories, the amount of airtime, the frequency of broadcasting, um, and things like that. And it basically does, doesn't say that it tells people what to think, but it tells them what to think about. Um, so what we've done is, with Citizens United and things like that, is we've, we've paved the way for our TV, our computers, and our smartphone screens to be flooded with paid media placing certain political faces and ideologies in front of our eyes, edging out any sort of competing viewpoints. So it's allowed my interest to basically dominate the public discourse. And so it's no wonder that people feel divided. Um, I'm in my 20s, and this 2010 Citizens United decision was right around the time I was starting college. And up until then, I was, I was in your district, Representative Vaughn, just bouncing around town and trying to keep my grades decent and stay out of trouble. Um, did an OK job of that. Uh, <laughs> But <laughs> since the time I've been paying attention, um, money and politics has been the most salient issue. It underpins every other issue that affects people in this country, especially the environment and public health, which are just forever intertwined. Um, with our greenhouse gas problem and the influence that chemicals and polluting industries have on our environment, we're seeing increasingly severe storms, urban heat islands, agricultural stress and failure, critical ecosystems are collapsed. We have miles wide dead zones in the ocean that are bigger than some of the states in this country. Um, we have no economy without a healthy environment. Every raw material for every piece of our economy comes out of the earth and we're ruining it. And mon money in politics is one of the biggest reasons why that's happening. So this amendment's not a turnkey solution. It's not gonna solve every problem, but it's a major step in the right direction and I think we have an opportunity to do something good. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. have been several times to meet with me in the staff and appreciate your passion and work on this. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.